If you're looking for airbags for motorcycles, the Hit Air airbag system is the perfect solution. The shock buffering system for motorcycles is a long-awaited product to protect riders. The Hit Air is a dream come true. When a rider is thrown off a motorcycle, a wire connected to the motorcycle is pulled. A gas cartridge built into the jacket is unplugged to activate the system instantly. The airbags on the neck, body and waist swell to buffer the shock. Its safety has been widely recognized. In fact, the heat air is used in more than 30 countries. The airbag system is also used as official police equipment in a growing number of countries. Let's take a closer look at this globally recognized innovative airbag system. First, let's activate a Type A jacket or a neck cushion housing jacket. Just how long does it take for the airbags to swell? Only 0.5 seconds. The airbags on the neck, chest, back and waist swell instantly to protect the upper body. Now let's take a look at the activation in slow motion. The airbag inside the collar swells and puffs out instantly. The body airbag also swells up large. The tailbone airbag is unbuttoned and swells at activation. If a rider is thrown off a motorcycle, airbags on the neck and body swell in just 0.2 seconds to protect the rider. The airbags swell completely in 0.5 seconds. Activation is completed before the rider comes into contact with the ground. The airbags protect the upper body against shock. After full activation, the air is released gradually to prevent pressure on the body. Type B jackets or neck exposure cushion jackets are also available. Activation starts instantly and the airbags also swell completely in 0.5 seconds. The upper body is effectively protected. The jacket buffers the shock on riders who are thrown off motorcycles. These are the airbags built into a jacket. What is the design secret? Ample motorcycle accident data was analyzed and many experiments were conducted before reaching the final design. The airbag swells hard around the neck. The neck and backbone are protected from shock. Internal organs are also protected with the airbags that swell hard around the upper body. Potential damage to important organs is reduced. The system also protects the tailbone, which is often injured in many accidents. The Hit Air is literally a wearable airbag system. The Hit Air is simple to use. Attach the one-touch release clip to a motorcycle. Put on the jacket and connect it with the one-touch release clip before driving the motorcycle. If the one-touch clip is secured properly, you'll hear the click sound. When a driver is thrown off a motorcycle, the key ball is pulled out and CO2 gas is sent into the airbags from the cartridge built into the jacket. This next image illustrates the flow of CO2 gas. The airbags swell instantly because CO2 gas is sent into the respective airbags at the same time. This mechanism enables the airbags to completely swell in 0.5 seconds. The key ball is one of the major features of the heat air system. The flexible movement ensures activation from any direction. 
The system is activated when the force exceeds about 30 kilograms. For this reason, the system is not activated if you fail to disconnect the wire. The hit air system guarantees the safety and security of motorcycle riders. To connect the hit air system, remove the motorcycle seat. Then attach the coil wire on the right frame. Put the protector tube around the frame at the securing position. The tube is designed to protect the frame. Leave a margin when cutting the protector tube. Put the coil wire through the protector tube and secure it to the frame. Use a loop setter to secure the coil wire temporarily. Next, adjust the length of the coil wire. Grip the handles, stand on the steps, and move your body in all directions to simulate positions when you get on the motorcycle. Make sure that the coil wire is fully extended. Activation may be delayed if the coil wire is too long or loose. But if the coil wire is too short, Hit air system may be activated when you stand on the steps while cruising. Adjust the length so that the coil wire is fully extended when you grip the handles and stand on the steps. Set the coil wire in the lanes of the loop setter. The coil wire can be secured if the wire is set in the lanes properly. If the setting is improper, the airbags may not be activated. Then, completely secure the butterfly screw of the loop setter. Leave a margin of more than 2 cm from the knot when cutting the coil wire. You can cut the coil wire with a pair of scissors or a utility knife. After cutting the coil wire, attach the cap and install the seat. House the coil wire under the seat or secure it with optional parts. For motor scooters, the coil wire may be attached to the seat or the handlebar. After activation, the jacket is reusable with a new gas cartridge as long as the jacket remains intact. First, unscrew the used gas cartridge from the key box. To remove all remaining gas from the air cushions, spread the jacket face down on a flat, smooth surface. Press down each cushion to remove the gas completely. Then, fasten the three hip buttons. Now, let's take a look at the repacking process for the air cushions. This is how to repack the neck cushion of a Type A jacket. Fasten the center button on the stand-up collar. Put the neck cushion sticking out of both sides in the stand-up collar and fasten buttons on both sides. Let's check it again. Fold the neck cushion alternately. Do not roll up the cushion. If rolled up, the cushion will not work properly. For a Type B jacket, simply fasten the three buttons of the stand-up collar. Next, install the key ball and ring. Insert a setting bolt into the hole at the bottom of the black key box and tighten it up by hand. 
Then tighten it further with a supplied hexagon wrench until the key ball hole comes to the center of the black key box. Insert the key ball with the ring into the key box hole. If the ring does not fit smoothly, the center of the key box hole must be aligned properly. Make a fine adjustment with the hexagon wrench to ensure alignment. Insert the ring deeply with a fingernail. Pull the wire attached to the key ball downwards and lower the slide cover over the hole. Remove the setting bolt with the hexagon wrench. Lift up the slide cover for reuse. Next, screw a new gas cartridge fully into the bottom of the key box socket until it cannot go any further. And last, close the fastener. This is the end of the process for resetting the key box. Now the hit air is ready to use again.